Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Well, Pope Francis says scientific theories, including the Big Bang, believed to have brought the universe into being 13.7 billion years ago, and the idea that life developed through a process of evolution, do not conflict with Catholic teaching. Addressing a meeting of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, the Pope said, The Big Bang that today is considered to be the origin of the world does not contradict the creative intervention of God. On the contrary, it requires requires it. I love this Pope, and watch him closely, folks. He's changing history as we speak. John Carter Cash, the only son of Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash, was arrested on Monday after stripping down to his underwear at an airport in Canada. Police were called to Deer Lake Airport Monday afternoon in response to a 911 about a man at the terminal who had taken off his clothes. The 44-year-old Cash, who was on his way home from Newfoundland after a hunting trip, was arrested for disturbing the peace and being drunk in public. He was held for a few hours until he was sober and released, no charges were filed. Hey, Toronto has elected a new mayor. Yeah, he's determined to rid the mayor's office of scandal and drug-sniffing police dogs. Russell Brand will be part of a new documentary about the financial crisis. The documentary will explore how anyone who puts Russell Brand in a movie ends up having a financial crisis. A new intelligence report says that North Korea has expelled 50 party officials for watching South Korean soap operas. Doesn't that just mean that they can now spend more time at home, say, like, you know, watching TV? Meg Ryan and John Mellencamp are back together. If this news excites you, how are things back in 1997? Yesterday was Bruce Jenner's birthday, and also Julia Roberts. Audiences have watched one gradually evolve into a dignified leading lady, the other is Julia Roberts. Bill Gates turned 59 yesterday, if you want to get him something, well, you're wasting your time. He already has it. This week, Beijing is covered in an especially thick smog. At least we think it's Beijing. An employee at a Brooklyn Foot Locker has been charged with spying on ladies in the restroom. Apparently being surrounded all day by sweaty feet wasn't enough of a turn-on. Taylor Swift has been named New York City's new global welcome ambassador. Taylor Swift also has a new album out. It took her 10 months to record. And by months, I mean relationships. Walmart has apologized for describing its online large female Halloween outfits as fat girl costumes and its witch outfits as real Housewives of Halloween costumes. Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Martin have broken up. It's almost Halloween. It's so sad when couples break up during the holidays. And Benedict Cumberbatch will play Doctor Strange in the latest superhero movie to be announced. Doctor Strange. Good luck getting through airport security with that name. Thanks, everybody. Make sure to check out Being Frank with Frank D'Angelo. Live on NSS Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern.